What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's kick start this video with a guy who wanted to do the Neo Pro. But the circumstances around him did not allow him to travel and compete. Of course I am talking about none other than Sergio Oliva Jr. Him and the Neo Pro champ Tonio Burton. They have competed against each other once before in the past. Which was roughly two years back at Legion Sports 2021. Where Sergio got beat by Regan Grimes and Sean Clarita. But the thing is, not many people know this, that Tonio Burton was clearly out of Sergio at the finals of that show. And it could have been so much more embarrassing for him if he was beaten by not one, but two of the 212 pros that day. And let's be real, Sean Clarita is Sean Clarita. He is the 212 champion. But Tonio Burton just came onto the scene that year. And he was ahead of Sergio at the finals. Now in Sergio's defense, that was possibly the worst showing of his career. And from that point till now, he has made some crazy amount of progress. He is the biggest he has ever been. He is close to 300 pounds. And he is in a striking distance of doing any show as far as conditioning is concerned. Now Sergio at his best, I believe, would have dominated this New York Pro lineup. He is just way too big and he takes so much space on that stage. And if you guys really want to judge Sergio, then I think the Arnold Classic 2020 version should be standard for that. That was the best Sergio we ever saw. And I hope he is able to fly out soon enough and compete and qualify for the Olympia. That tight midsection is the first thing to notice in Hunter Labrada's latest physique update. It looks like cutting out multiple whey proteins per day and not drinking most of his meals. That has been doing wonders for his physique, especially his midsection. His waistline has never looked this good. People always complain about his lack of suppression. But the thing is, he is 11 weeks out. And he isn't a guy who shows a lot of separation this far out of the show. So we cannot expect that from him. And yes, I know and I agree that there isn't what we call a wow factor or the freak factor to his physique. But people need to understand that he is very much balanced and proportional, which is his biggest front. Now a lot of people talk about Hunter's back as well. And this is a fact that he will never have the most developed lower lats. That is just how his genetics are. But the thing is, a lot of thickness has been added to this area as well during this offseason. So he is most likely gonna win the Tampa Pro in 11 weeks time. But the real challenge is the Texas Pro, where he will balance out with Andrew Jagd. Now talking about Andrew Jagd, judging by his latest update, I doubt that Hunter will be able to beat him at the Texas Pro this year. And that is based on this idea that both of them step on the stage at 100%. And if that happens, Andrew Jagd is Mr. Olympia all day, every day, especially from the front. And yes, I know he is 38 years old and he just turned pro last year. So he is gonna continue to make progress in his weak areas, little by little. Now keep in mind, from the time he turned pro at the Arnold Classic 2021, he has done a total of 4 pro shows in just one year. So basically he did not have a real big off season just yet. His aim is to crack top 5 at this year's Olympia. And actually that was his plan last year as well. But because he fell sick in the weeks leading up to the Olympia, he could not bring his best look to the stage. So I see Andrew Jad winning Texas Pro and cracking top 5 at this year's Mr. Olympia. What do you guys think? So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.